Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Made it out to Southwold to the pier that's here. Uh, fantastic location um, on my obviously bit of a road trip that I'm on at the moment. Uh, fantastic location and timing it right to come here when the tide's just at its peak now. Um, working out really well. Yes, this uh, location has been photographed so many times. However, I've never captured an image of it. And luckily enough, with the weather that we've got today, the cloud is broken up, which is fantastic, and got some lovely shape and detail in the clouds now. So, working on a couple of compositions already, getting the tripod low down to the ground, and framing it up with the rocks in the foreground of obviously the breakwater, and then with the pier as well. Keeping that though in the top third of the image as well. And playing around with the exposure, setting the camera up on f11, ISO 100 and 400 of a second is the base image, however bracketing two stops either side because of that dynamic range that we've actually got here now. Uh, where obviously you're shooting towards the sun, uh, there is that high dynamic range that hopefully with those three images I can control back in post-processing. But the wind's still here, however I can cope with that one, but uh, the sun is shining and that's always a plus point. For the next composition, I've got the uh, cable release on here now and just watching the waves as they uh, crash in on the shoreline here. Working out to be really interesting. So I've opened up the aperture to f5.6, ISO 100, and that's given me about 800th of a second exposure, which is lovely to actually freeze the uh, crashing waves. And I've got it on motor drive as well, uh, because there you can then obviously take multiple images and then pick out which one is the best out of all of them. But uh, yeah, fantastic. Luckily enough, with the light, it's actually playing in my favor, where it is so bright, I'm able to obviously increase the shutter speed as much as I possibly can to sort of freeze the action of the waves crashing against the shore. But yeah, working out to be again a really enjoyable shoot. The next composition I'm working on here is tilting the camera down on its full height without the central column because it's just too windy for to doing that. But with the uh, boulders that have been placed here as the sea defence, um, creating a lovely pattern with the waves that are rolling in onto the shoreline and then receding back into the sea. And with the cable release attached, it's just obviously waiting for that wave to come in and as it's rolling back out, is take up to that image. Now I'm focusing on the rocks here, I've already got that preset as a focus, and then obviously just snapping away, taking image after image, and hopefully when I get back to review them on the computer, working out to be a really interesting image. So, settings wise for the camera, I've got that set up on F7.1, ISO 100, and 320th of a second as the exposure. And it's just working out to be a really interesting image. It's fast enough shutter speed to obviously freeze the action, but create those lovely leading lines and that curving line, which is the one that I'm after with as the waves comes in and rolls back out, as I say. And uh, yeah, looking like now as the tide's obviously receding out, that there's gonna be even more compositions presenting itself as that tide does move out. So uh, timing it right, I feel, for this uh, location. 
Uh, I was considering heading here uh, for my first shoot and then working back down the coast or back towards where I live. Uh, however, I think given the conditions that I'm at now, working out to be really interesting. And as the cloud is broken up as well, I think most of the images are going to work out really interesting in uh, black and white formats as well. Because hopefully pulling out more of the detail in the sky at the same time. One other key thing that I uh, forgot to mention earlier, I've got my lens hood on as well. Um, yeah, it's not a Canon lens hood, uh, however it obviously fits the lenses and it's just sheltering obviously the front part of the lens so when the sun does come out, hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully I won't get any of that uh, sort of glare across the front of the lens because uh, when you try to remove that in post-processing it's uh, yeah a little bit tricky I find sometimes. So. Um, Hopefully that will work out as well in my favour. The next composition comprises me of just moving a little bit further down the uh, walkway here to frame up with the rocks because as the waves are crashing against the rocks it's making for a really interesting composition. Lining it up as well with one of the marker points at the end of the groin here as well so hopefully will be a really interesting composition. So again I've got the camera set up this time on f7.1 ISO 100 and 3 20th of a second exposure. Again, obviously having the cable release on as well and obviously just clicking away as and when the waves obviously crash up against the, uh, the rocks. And again, having on shutter drive mode uh, will hopefully work out to be a really interesting couple of compositions there as well. As the tide's pulling out now as well, fingers crossed I may be able to get under the jetty and uh, get one or two compositions looking down the jetty as well. And uh, Hopefully won't get my feet too wet. So there's two compositions that I've been working on under the pier here. One of them is keeping the camera at 18mm, f7.1, ISO 100 and bracketing the image and waiting for one of the waves to obviously come in and then obviously recede. And as it's going around and creating lovely shapes around some of these support pillars of the pier, working out to be a really interesting image. The second composition that I've got set up is with the camera zoomed right in at 135mm, looking straight down the pier and as the waves are obviously smashing in and crashing against the support beam, working out to be a really interesting image. So I've got that camera set up, Whee! That was almost close and the camera was a goner there. But yeah, working out to be a really interesting composition for that one. And with the vanishing point at the far end of the pier, uh, working out really well. Having the camera set up on drive mode as well, and uh, obviously got the shutter release cable there just to obviously snap away as quick as possible to get those waves crashing in. But uh, I think I'm testing my luck a little bit too much now being under here. So uh, let's go back and head on to dry land.
Festus proved a fantastic location to come to visit and the weather conditions are absolutely amazing today. Yes, it's windy, however, that's whipping up the sea and making for some really interesting images. Um, it's dry, that's the main thing. Um, when you come out for doing photography in the rain, um, all the kit gets wet, you obviously run the risk of malfunctions and it's, you have to really question is it worth it. But today's like today is working out to be really interesting. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, heading off to another location today, so that'll be number three on the list and uh, hopefully that'll work out to be really interesting as well. But thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Please leave us a comment and hit that like button as well. But thanks a lot and take care.